great i guess we are live already um so today we're gonna talk about the uh, procedural which is a really really tough uh subject um so it's gonna be the second part of the uh if we can um synthesize uh what we did uh in the previous um classes or tutorial um there was something like um, a part a mini a big part one uh big chap chapter one i will say uh was mainly something like how I can uh, be able to do simple stuff in Gary uh, um, going from A to Z, uh, ingesting data, uh, manipulate the data, create override and uh, shade light and render uh, my images. Um, this part is going to be more technical and we're going to uh, dive into more complex subjects. Uh, so, and it's going to be uh, uh, really something like a starting of a chapter two for advanced uh, user. So, uh, please, if you don't, I saw uh, my previous uh, tutorial and the uh, tutorial from Jean Michel, um, and you are uh, watching this tutorial in a replay, stop it. Uh, go directly to the uh, to the um, as there is a school who is talking to me <laughs> hello school and uh, so uh, and and there is a, um, uh, so please uh, go back to the uh, previous tutorial uh, start from the beginning and uh, go back to these procedures and uh, so wow there is someone in the school hey hi GM and uh, so Jean Michel, we were talking about your tutorial, your tutorial, uh, uh, exactly to be precise. So okay, so this is an advanced uh, chapter. Uh, go back to the uh, previous if you are a beginner. If you are already saw uh, my previous uh, tutorial, stick, stick with it, stick here. You are at the right place. And please, please ask me question. It's really, really a tough subject. Um, so this is part of my uh, of my classes uh, that I'm, I'm training kids uh, kids and uh, students with uh, with it. So this was the uh, previous uh, slides. I hope I can get time to uh, go dive into texture and shader stuff like that. But my uh, subject for today is going to be procedurals, and it's really a tough subject. So um, procedurals can be uh, used uh, for um, like in four way in Gerea. Um, there's going to be uh, a, a big family, which is uh, the scatter family, uh, where we're going to generate data in a random position, and we're going to be uh, only able to drive my uh, uh, distribution by area with a map or something like that. And there's gonna be something that is gonna be a replicate of my data that I've uh, got already something and I wanna replicate it at the exact position I get um, for many reasons. Uh, so there is two families. There is something like I will say more the uh, family scatter and the replicate uh, and the uh, replicate family and the scatter family. So there's going to be a uh, divide by two. Um, I'm going to start with the uh, simplest one, the uh, fur. Uh, so the way of using scatter to uh, create fur. And after that, we are going to go to the interpolate guides. And after that, we're going to go to the instance. And uh, for finally going to the uh, replicate guys, uh, I guess. Hello everyone. So um, what we need, uh, the simple stuff to start with, uh, we need at least a scalp. And optionally, we're gonna need uh, a parent. So I'm gonna start with the simple stuff, just a scalp, and I'm gonna add some more stuff with it. So we're gonna generate something. The simple stuff is gonna be fur. We're gonna generate a super simple procedural fur system. Um, for doing that, I'm gonna go to my empty scene. So I'm just starting area from fresh. Uh, I'm gonna create a light. Uh, I guess you already saw that uh, made a lot of time by me or Jean Michel. And uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna create the si simple scalp to play with. And the simple scalp we can play with is gonna be a plane, nothing more uh, crazy than that. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I forgot to uh, my key. Uh, my key logger okay please key logger come back to me okay here it is okay perfect so um i'm gonna select my uh my system and press f to fit my view and um so this is my plane 
it's really a simple plane with the uh, default shader i don't need anything that crazy and i'm gonna create the more simple stuff i'm gonna create a fur oh, right there um first thing um there is not that much difference between a full node or the other node I'm gonna create with a processor, it's just a preset. So what preset I'm gonna use, it's it just because it's set to generate fur. That's that's my preset. Uh, you're gonna see that my uh, air procedural, my instances procedural is gonna be the same node. There's just dif the only difference is gonna be the way that you handle the geometry. So I'm gonna uh, connect my uh, plane uh, directly to my scalp input so i'm gonna use uh, my plane as a scalp and i'm gonna connect the fur um so what is a scalp uh scalp is um a geometry that is gonna be used to uh grow uh to use as a base to grow my procedurals uh what we're not saying that is gonna be the geometry or something else because most of the time you want to use uh, a different geometry between uh, the one that you use as a scalp is the one that is going to be really displayed in the renderer. Uh, most of the time, scalp are going to be a proxy uh, geometry uh, with um, some simple simulation, and uh, and maybe it's going to be cut at some part because you want to be sure that you know, you're not going to generate fur uh, like uh, on the end of your uh, of your uh, person of your character or in the eyes or something like is there is no fur on on this kind of uh, surface so that's why we split uh, most of the time geometry between the geometry that you display in the renderer and the geometry to use to uh, generate the procedure uh, in this case it's going to be the same it's going to be uh, 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 um, well, I will say in French confondu. well uh, it's going to be uh, the same geometry uh, in the two cases so the one that we're seeing is also the scalp so that's uh, that's a, a specific case but it's going to be the simple case uh, so I create fear uh, what I create, it's uh, on this plane, I use it as a scalp to generate fur on my surface. And um, so we got a lot of settings, a lot, a lot of settings on this knot, maybe the more complex one uh, in the world system of Garia. And um, I'm going to go directly to the uh, Dyson T, uh, uh, sorry, uh, density setup because that's the uh, simple uh, the first uh, uh, parameters that we want to play with so the density parameters uh, it's the way that uh, we can drive durant density uh, you need to understand that uh, it's set by a uh, Gera unit so what I'm telling to Gera right now it's say generate one fur per one unique square of Gera so my plane by default is going to be one unit square it's a one by a one unit in area, so I've got one fur per surface. So of course I've got one. Um, I'm gonna ask him for a generate three, and I guess you're gonna see that this cater three. In fact, it just because it's a, a round, so there is no perfectly, uh, it's not perfectly one. So that's why it generate one more uh, right there. But just because it's just a question of of uh, uh, round. How you round the number? I guess if I'm gonna press four, I'm gonna only get a five. Okay, well, so my surface is just a little bit bigger than one. Um, okay, so let's go for ten, and maybe it's gonna make ten or eleven, depend. It's a, just a question of round. Uh, but most of the time, you're not. You don't wanna get some uh, precise uh, number. You just wanna get feeling of the amount of density you want to get and uh, so density is gonna be drove like uh like a light uh you get uh, the intensity which is called density in fact and you're gonna get an exponent to multiply so um if you want to go crazy or uh, crazy down or crazy up you just have to play with the exponent uh like all exponent case is going to be to uh power exponent so if i will go want to go really high uh, let's go crazy with five so two power five oh that's a lot okay have fun refund so i'm gonna go back to 10 and get something super simple um oh okay no i'm, I'm, I'm gonna go for something crazy i'm gonna go for uh power 10 power 2 okay i've got more object um i can play with uh, the uh, viewport tray trace uh, if I want to get it with the uh, viewport um, Gary is not displaying uh, the uh, personal on the viewport because um, 
it's it's most of the time you're gonna generate a shitload of objects and a uh, shitload of data and the viewport is not the GL viewport uh, is not gonna be happy about that so if you start to play with uh, the procedurals have, have a look at the uh, ray trace uh, viewport it's gonna be the best way to uh, have a look uh, into your uh, real procedurals okay um, I'm gonna uh, activate the uh, IPR right there also so that's a that's a good way to uh, preview your uh, your uh, mesh um I, I got the wrong uh perception of my objects because right there I, i've got the feeling that uh it's is gonna be uh noisy in terms of lens but in fact if i'm playing in just a light everything you can see that everything got the same lens so that's good that's that's what i get when i get um so okay the boss is saying go crazy so yes christoph we're gonna go crazy you wanna go let's go fucking crazy wow that's a super uh intensity heavy here it's so more than expecting <laughs> anyway funny um what i want to show you more it's uh i'm gonna play with uh the density noise what does it mean it's um i'm gonna ask garia to uh distribute um using a pattern uh a, fract uh, a fractal pattern on the cloud it depends the way that you're gonna call that um and I'm gonna generate distribute the uh, density differently so as you can see it's gonna create an all in fact it's more a question that it is it's using a cloud pattern really simply was on any octavers and it just because right there is gonna be white right there is gonna be white also and it's gonna be dark in here so that's why it's gonna use so we're start to uh, introduce some perturbation in the uh, density system um, if I want to get uh, if I wanna if I want to get uh, more perturbation and getting something smaller I just have to increase the uh, density the frequency of my uh, density noise and you start to get the feeling of a tiny uh, all into my density system so what we can uh, uh, understand in this first step into the processor system it's uh, you're gonna see a lot of time that you're gonna get a parameter which is gonna be na 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 and you're gonna get something like uh, na 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 noise and na 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 frequency so most of the time we're gonna play with the lens driving the uh, maintenance that we're gonna get and after that we're gonna uh, giving some um, amplitude and range uh, and adding some noise to uh, uh, make variation into the processor system so okay um uh, I can uh, if it's if it's a fur uh, and it's only for the fur purpose, I, I can drive the uh, width of my object. So uh, I can go for something like uh, I will say something tinier. Okay, perfect. So you're gonna feel get the feeling that my uh, fur is gonna be uh, smaller, and I can drive also my um, my um, a tip and roots width. So this is my root. This is my tip, and uh, as you can see, it's gonna start to be. Um, super uh, big at the beginning of my uh, scalp system and in this ending it's fading something super small um, that's something recently used in most of the renderer because it was super expensive uh, and one of the interests of the pass tracing technology was to start to be in a lot of uh, geometry so most of the time uh, you can see old school uh, system that's using opacity for doing the same effect it's not really relevant right now we are able with pass tracing technology to get something uh, with really uh, with a real uh, width uh, and can fade, can fade the width with a small value and not some faking opacity stuff okay uh, I'm going back to my tube so I was gonna uh, go back to my cylinder and um, I'm gonna play with the lens uh, so also starting oh, okay so I can get something big get something small okay gets let's say something at 0 0.5 so you can see I can draw my lens it's gonna be the same stuff uh, with it I'm gonna be able to uh, drive uh, my scale okay what it's missing perfect so okay you can see I've got variation I can add more variation into it with playing with my lens noise okay it's gonna distribute like in the density pattern you can see that it's right there is going to be small right there is going to be high and i'm going to distribute something for um 10 was maybe too small so okay so let's get something like that okay perfect so as you can see that's the same pattern i've got a parameters with noise and frequency one parameters with noise as frequency okay 
perfect. So um, I'm gonna uh, switch back to a more simple, I'm gonna go back to my default parameters and um, to be sure that we don't influence too much things and to, that we uh, separate all the parameters to understand really uh, specifically what we're what we're doing right now. Um, I can play also with a curvature so I can uh, say something like I'm gonna bend my fur okay so it's drove in the UV axis uh, I guess it's uh, I'm not really sure I guess it's the V axis maybe Jean-Michel or uh, okay or uh, or um, or CEO girl uh, confirm this on the chat on the chat sorry so but it's gonna be bend uh, with the uh, V axis basically so you can see and of course if I go under the lot 5 it's gonna be the invert uh, there's gonna be the same stuff for the tip system I can bend the tip bend the uh, uh, in one um, in one axis or the opposite axis okay um, so um, this is my basic stuff and uh, I'm gonna enter something more complex so I believe that's by default that's something to do with the UV orientation of the natural yeah I guess that's the uh, V axis was gonna be the uh, uh, separate axis um, I'm gonna um, stay with a normal system because that's what we wanted to do and I'll show you later what's what does it mean the uh, wall why we're not gonna talk about the uh, XYZ it's gonna be a more complex subject so we're gonna stick with your normal system and um, I'm gonna play with the um, uh, polarity of my object so um, and um, so it's uh, yeah it's V okay we're, we're in some page uh, so I'm gonna drive my polar system what what does that mean the uh, polar system what what does it mean to drive the polar it's uh, it's mean that uh, we're gonna make turn my fur onto the uh, polar axis which in my case is gonna be the uh, normal axis or more specifically with my y axis but if you make turn a cylinder on until this y axis it's not gonna mean nothing because you're gonna it's gonna be the full uh, symmetry of the system so it's gonna be totally stupid so I'm gonna add a little bit of curvature to understand what I'm doing right now so uh, that's why I've got my there okay I'm, I'm gonna um, uh, lower my level of fear is gonna be weird enough. Uh, sorry, Christoph. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not crazy enough. Um, so, um, and as you can see, driving my polar is gonna make turn my uh, fur onto its axis. So I'm, I'm gonna use a top view to understand that, and you're gonna see that I'm making turn my uh, system on its y axis. I'm gonna do something differently. I'm gonna find my okay. I broke everything. Perfect. So I'm gonna say something like that. And as you can see, it's gonna turn onto his y axis. So right now, my polar axis or my y axis is gonna be the same stuff. Polar is just a rep pretty representation of the uh, cylinder uh, references. Uh, so that's why it's easier to uh, play uh, with um, our uh, tubes and stuff like that. But right now, uh, you can understand that y and uh y and uh polar it's uh is uh, making turn uh, uh over the y-axis or the polar is going to be some stuff okay um i've got another uh parameters that i'm gonna add is gonna be the inclining uh, so of course as you can see i've got a uh, polar noise so i can distribute something blah 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 you understand my pattern i'm, I'm gonna go uh, quicker and hello andre oh thank you so much I hope you're good and uh, so um, I'm gonna uh, start stop to play with the polar and I'm gonna play with the inclination uh, so inclination means uh, it's uh, bending it's not bending my fur it's changing the uh, polar axis of my object so uh, that's why it's not like uh, when I'm using uh, my uh, curvature, it's bending. In this case, it's really changing the orientation. It's like if I'm if I'm really uh, changing the uh, normality of the world. It's 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 start to grow 
uh, not uh, with a normal start to really to change the inclination of my hair. Uh, also, I've got a noise so I can perturbate my stuff, and um, I can I I'll have also a roll. Uh, what what the roll mean? It's it's a post uh, rotation after the inclination. So I'm gonna add inclination. I'm gonna add also um, a roll, and after that. I was opening some stuff on CS and Quantum. <laughs> okay, it's it's reveal. It's not Fantomet. It's Jean Michel. Uh, so um, we so the roll uh, parameters uh, drive uh, after it's a rotation uh, over the axis after the inclination. So um, polar mainly rotate over the uh, y axis. In my case, inclination it's changing after that the y axis. And after that roll is gonna make roll over a local uh, a local uh, re references of my hair. It's kind of complex, uh, I, I know, but that's the best way to uh, make in turn new references, uh, change the inclination after that rotate into this local space. So uh, with these three parameters, I can be able to uh, change my um, the way of my uh, of driving my. Uh, my uh, rotation of my air. Okay, so let's go back to something simple. Okay, perfect. So I can get, I can add scraggle, um, which is a uh, scraggle. It's a perturbation over the length of my fiber. So I'm gonna go back to my root. Okay, perfect. So this is my scraggle. As you can see, everything is totally perfect. And right now I'm adding more variation and I'm gonna add square of frequency so you can see that my air is gonna drive start to be crazy it's like if I don't have want to get something straight you start to uh, to get perturbation along the fiber and I can add square of surface frequency which is gonna be uh, adding noise depending on the surface it's already such a mess that it's hard to understand but this one is driving along the fiber this one is driving along the scalp Okay, and um, we saw we were into scraggle. I'm gonna add perturbation, which is gonna be just um, a, a noise to a changing orientation, polar and stuff, and just a perturbation, basically just a, a random uh, of my system. I can clump also, so I'm gonna clump by tip, which means okay, everything's converging by the tip and uh, if I'm changing the density of that it's gonna start to make a couple of little clumps so that's how I can drive the density of my clump and uh, driving if I can play with the tip I can uh, clump by root if I wanna do some width system or I don't know uh, plants or stuff like that and I can clump also by the middle so it's not gonna make sense because I don't have that much uh, longer into my tip uh, but if you got something more longer and with more, more uh, subdivide uh, fiber, you can start to clip with the with the middle. Okay. Um, last but not least, uh, I've got a flatness system which is gonna start to uh, flat the curve, um, and uh, the flattened flatness system uh, is gonna be super useful if you wanna play with grass. Uh, please have a look at the samples, which is the flat and fur, and is go gonna give you a really good example. Uh, that's something that we use a lot of uh, of Playmobil to uh, uh, bend uh, the grass uh, when the uh, characters were were walking. And uh, if you have saw the uh, Playmobil shot, it was in the um, uh, opening with the uh, Viking invading. Uh, there was a crowd of Viking, and it was really hard to uh, correct. Uh, every uh, grass that we uh, that we create, so this was super easy to flat everything with this uh, these parameters. Uh, so that's that's super useful for uh, flattening grass. And we got something that's uh, working. Uh, we got crazier. So uh, what crazier is driving is uh, you got a ratio of fur, and you got something you said. Uh, okay, I want to get something one per hundred, and it start to be crazy. And I don't know if I've got one. Okay, that's him just right there that's the crazy one and uh, okay if I go back you can see that's the crazy one so the bigger of driving it I'm gonna say one on ten is gonna be crazy crazy and I can add the uh, I can get more craziness so I'm going crazy I'm going really crazy um, okay let's go back 
and uh, you got also a win system I'm not gonna talk with that uh, you can curl so you st can start to do some uh, uh, curling my air it's way too much and I'm not really the best uh, artist to be honest but okay it's gonna start to curl on on it um, and okay so you got a shit lot of parameters uh to drive the curve system which is uh more complex and i'm not really confident to show you some advanced stuff advanced stuff right there and uh you got an offset which can uh, uh offset the uh the uh, procedural from the scalp so that's really useful when you're gonna object and you want to be sure uh, and you want to be sure that it's going to be under the skin or it's going to be over the skin uh, that's something that you uh, can play with so if uh, Jean-Michel when clumping is activated the minimus lens if using scale mode will randomize the clump guide lens instead of renderer themselves maybe we will need on more option there yeah true um, we, we we suffer to be honest a little bit of lack of uh, parameters uh, particularly for um, um, lens uh, we, we sometimes we want to cut stuff so we start to get the uh, we got a new parameter that was introduced uh, I guess it was maybe a, a requirement for from John Michel himself uh, to cut the uh, the lens of the object and uh, we suffer from for a couple of stuff and um, yeah it, it would be lovely to get more options there is still work to do on this procedural which already is an heavy uh, one of the heavier node in the area but there is <laughs> it's under under construction um, okay uh, so um, I'm not gonna go uh, too uh, uh, too, too uh, widely into my uh, parameters. I want to show you more generality on this uh, already on this node. So it's it's a really good overview of my uh, of my world procedurals. Uh, I'm gonna start to play with uh, other stuff. I want to show you. So. Um, Okay, so mainly uh, what we can uh, get in mind it's uh, the, uh, the principles. Um, is my missing a S? Uh, so the principles parameters is going to be the density, the length, uh, the orientation uh, of my uh, procedures. That's going to be the main main parameters I, I want to play with. And um, zero to one are going to be more uh, second part of my look development so most of the time uh, artists uh, start to uh, set a density lens uh, and uh, orientation family and after that they start to dive into the other parameters to get something more more tweak and refine um, I'm gonna show you uh, right now how we can uh, drive uh, my uh, density with a map so I've got a map and uh, it's a surprise uh, it's for the wall area team and um, so I've got a map and um, this map is gonna drive my uh, density so to be sure that I'm really understanding my uh, density parameters I'm gonna go super dense uh, to show you uh, how, how it can work um, sorry I'll do the chat it's right there perfect so um, for driving my uh, parameters is going to be always the same methodology have a look uh, first of all i'm going to create a material override node right there okay it can be named anything you want uh it's going to be my uh, i'm going to say procedures to be sure that i'm working clean <laughs> not, not something i'm doing production to be honest but let's go uh it's better to show you the best way to working with and because I'm a lazy guy, uh, I'm going to pick the exact same name uh, right there. So uh, I want to drive density with density parameters. So I need to use the exact same string uh, on my procedural override that it's written right there. Um, it's totally arbitrary. So if you want to use uh, Toto or Fubar, or I don't know, um, I love Guria. It's up to you as long as right there it say I love Guerrilla and right there it say I love Guerrilla. And um, yeah, the, 
if you want to go, <laughs> if I've got one advice for this tutorial, if you want to go really far in this business, be lazy because you're not going to do two times the same stuff. Be lazy, guys. And uh, so I've got the density right there. So it's a float. Uh, I use it by default. I'm going to go back also. So most of the time it's going to be a float. Uh, how I can know it's a float because when I've got one parameters, one slider, which is those waiting for a number, is going to be a float. So it's waiting for float and I'm going to drive my density. And as you can see, I don't have any more density. So right now, these parameters is going to drive the density of my procedurals and I can multiply the density. It's way too much than what I was expecting. So I'm going to go back to my density right there. Um, how I can be able to drive that uh, with a map? Uh, I'm going to just have to drag and drop my map. It's a simple uh, map I've got. It's just a TGA. There is nothing. It just I'm, I will show you after that what it look like. But I guess you're gonna see what it is. And that is oh, that's a cute little art for you guys because I love you so much. Uh, so um, you can use uh, the kind of map you wanna uh, use with. So I use a, a really simple map. I'm gonna show you uh, what is it. It's just a black and white uh, uh, shape with where it's gonna be black, so it's not gonna be um, uh, fur. When it's gonna be white, it's gonna be 100% fur. If, if you got something like uh, with uh, um, a gradient, uh, it's gonna be a multiply that, multiply that by the uh, gradient. So. Let's go back to my render. Okay, here it is. So it's really simple to drive uh, my identity. It's just a question uh, to generate a map. Uh, you can use, um, and you can be used as a bokeh, of course. <laughs> that's that's perfect as well. I've learned it today. It, it's a, it was, was in February, but yeah, still can be used for uh, Valentine's Day uh, next year, 2001. Um, 2001, sorry. Uh, no, sorry. 2021. Oh, my lord. Uh, anyway, um, so it's simple at creating a map, black and white map. You can drive uh, your um, your uh, density. The same stuff with lens. If you have a look about the lens stuff, uh, you can drive also that with a map and same, same system, create a map, driving it. Uh, you can paint that with a... Uh, with, uh, uh, um, we can create that procedurally, you can paint that. Uh, Jean-Michel uh, show you a really wonderful uh, tutorial with uh, the new uh, first samples. So have a look. Uh, as I remember, he's showing you how we uh, paint uh, all his map in Mary. So I'm not going to talk uh, furthermore with this kind of uh, aspect. Uh, I'm going to go back to the uh, basic stuff. So driving it's just a question of map. Okay, perfect. Uh, so we saw how to uh, generate fur. Uh, so that's the first mode. Uh, I want to show you how to uh, interpolate uh, fur. Um, so I'm going to go for uh, my scene. Uh, it's already set up and I'm going to destroy everything just for you guys. And okay, oh, it was my bling bling version, <laughs> so I'm gonna <laughs> remove my metal. And uh, if uh, if Guillaume is around, that's uh, I dedicate that to uh, <laughs> to Guillaume. Okay, perfect. Um, so I'm gonna remove my uh, my objects. So right now I've got only uh, that, uh, which is okay right there. And um, what I've got it's uh, I've got a pack of curve that were um, hidden, I guess, uh, for, I don't know which reason. No, so we're not in it, hidden. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, kill my motion board. That was, it's not that precise. Motion board is right there. Okay. Well, ah, uh, okay, I know. I'm a stupid, I'm the worst uh, <laughs> trainer of Korea in the world. Okay, perfect. Here it is. So this is my uh, pack of guides. Um, it's it's uh, a navy pack. That was there was some uh, issue uh, with the uh, bonding box. So uh, this, uh, this is a typical case for the curves. But I don't care that much because I'm not gonna use this curve to render. I'm just gonna use them to drive my procedurals. So I'm, I just wanna show you that there is a pack of curve. And uh, as you can see, the uh, in the um, 
uh, render graph in the uh, uh, in the uh, viewport, uh, you can see that the guys right there is just a question of bonding box that maybe was not written really well of something. I, I don't know why. Anyway, I'm not caring that much, and uh, I want to thank uh, my uh, fellow uh, I would say master uh, Cyril Chandwadi who uh, share who who produced this uh, simulation for me. So um, I'm gonna show you the uh, world simulation. It's just blinking because it's caching the data, but as right now it's caching the data. So that's one of the good way to uh, create some fur, uh, interpret, uh, and getting simulation into it. Okay, so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna already grab my air uh, settings, which is this one, and as you can see, in fact, it just it's just a preset because I can create a fur and uh, checking the interpolate guide and it's gonna produce the same stuff. So um, it's the same thing, just a preset. That's why I pick the air system. Okay, perfect. That's my uh, geometry right there. So um, if I wanna interpolate the guides, if I wanna interpolate guides, uh, what I need is a scalp and guides. That's what I need. Okay, so what is my scalp? In fact, it's just simply my ball. So, okay, perfect, right there, this is my scalp, up, oh, right there, and also I need a pack, a pack of guides and I'm gonna connect them into the air input because I wanna drive that uh, with air, so, okay, and this is my pack. First of all, if you wanna play with the guide system, uh, find a solution to pack every guys into one shape. It's gonna be way faster to render. If you got a lot of separate guys, it's not the right way to work with Garia. It's gonna be take a long way. So please combine every uh, curves into one pack. So um, my uh, curves are connecting into my air system. My uh, scalp is was connecting to my scalp uh, input, and I'm gonna render and it start to generate some fur. I'm gonna go to something funnier right there. Okay, this is my version. But as you can see, my uh, ball is suffering from many issues. First of all, it's dark, so I'm gonna pick a shader for that. I'm gonna pick the uh, a simple air shader right there. Okay, so right now it's start to be white. That's what I want to get, and it suffer from another issue. I don't have that many uh, that many um, um, uh, uh, fibers render because it, it's just a question of the size of my ball. Just my ball is not big enough, so. It's a tiny, it's a tiny surface ball. Uh, my density is starting to get one, so that's why I don't have that much. So right now I'm gonna tweak. Okay, um, I'm gonna tweak by ten, and I'm gonna have a look, and you uh, start to understand. I've got more uh, curves, more fiber of our renderer. So let's go for something uh, really more interesting. You start to get uh, something interesting with a lot of curves, and you can start to get the feeling of the uh, movement of my uh, scalp we starting to and as, as you can see it's uh, replicating my uh, fur uh, it's it started to interpolate and get something very close from my uh, simulation um, I can get more and more uh, fur it's something like uh, we're not afraid of and uh, okay that's maybe too much uh, I'm gonna start to get something. Well, okay, it was more interesting. It was uh, less, and uh, maybe that's the uh, parent issue. So um, that's something I didn't show you already, but that's something I need to show you right now. Um, if you got uh, an element which is moving, uh, you need to connect a parent. If you're using uh, the Procerval system to generate some grass or something like that in the uh, on the universe, that's not going to be an issue. But if you start to get something really weird uh, and moving really fast, that's the case of the of this ball. It uh, I guess there is a, a transformation. I can be able to uh, see my transformation, which is not going to be stored. Okay, it's in the form, so that's why there is no uh, moving more. So that's why I need to uh, connect my parent to my ball. So I'm gonna pick uh, the ball uh, geometry uh, input, and I'm gonna con gonna 
I'm gonna connect it to the ball. And so it started to give uh, more information to my uh, ball uh, system and giving its right position into the system. So that's why you get, uh, a, I guess, a reposition of my of my stuff. And I think I can increase, uh, oh, okay. Well, my my uh, object is moving so fast that the, uh, the air is uh, growing uh, maybe under the skin. I don't know why, okay. I'm gonna go back to my uh, previous settings. Uh, it was way more uh, interesting and uh, efficient. Okay, perfect. So um, driving uh, air with guides is simple. Uh, just uh, connecting some curves, uh, connecting some scalp, depending of the uh, way that you are animate. Maybe I don't have any sample in the uh, motion blur, so it, it, it just question about the way that my scalp is moving. Uh, it's not a question about my guy produce. So. That's the way of uh, maybe that's the issue that we got uh, on the Discord that uh, uh, one of the uh, TD were talking about. Okay, uh, so connecting guy, connecting your scalp, uh, add a parent if uh, your objects are moving, and uh, I can work with motion blur and start to get motion blurred. Okay, perfect. Um, Last but not least, uh, no, it's not going to be the last one, uh, the instances. So, uh, our work instances, I'm going to go back to my uh, simple uh, um, settings. I'm going to just uh, put aside my object right there and I'm going to connect my scalp. I'm going to connect my instances right there and I'm going to start to play with my instances. So um, for the instances uh, system, you need at least a scalp and of course instances to instantiate. You need to get something. So right now I've got just a blank uh, plane very simply and I'm going to instantiate object on it. So I'm going to start with simple cubes. Okay, let's say cubes. Okay. Uh, this cube is really, really big. Um, so if I'm start to uh, render um, a lot of uh, objects, uh, I'm gonna get uh, a lot of cubes, but they are gonna be always at the same position. So I'm gonna change something. I'm gonna reduce the size of my cube. I'm gonna say that I wanna get something uh, that one, and um, and uh, I'm gonna also. Uh, do something. I'm gonna add this cube to see all my other cube in my render. Okay, and uh, beam, beam, beam. Okay, what I've got is not small enough. Okay, perfect. Um, I'm gonna start to get something smaller cubes around. Okay, not small enough. So let's say that you start to get something like that also okay maybe um why this one is not hidden uh rightly mm -hmm -hmm. what are you wrong okay okay so i'm gonna wide up a little bit because i guess the issue is it's uh i've got a plane which is tiny and with a cube which is big and I'm gonna start to uh, create some. Um... Okay, where are you at, uh, little cubes? Um... Ah, right there. They're just right there. Perfect. It was a question of size. Uh, my cube were a uh, big. My, in this case, to to uh, I reduce too much the size of my of my cube. Okay, perfect. So I make them uh, red, so we can be able to pick pick them really quickly. And I'm gonna add the I'm gonna add the density uh, for something last, let's say like five. Okay, we got a lot of tiny cubes. I'm gonna dive. Okay, perfect. Tiny cube everywhere. Um, so creating some instances system is just question about uh, connecting a couple of mesh. Uh, any number of mesh uh, and connecting to a scalp. Uh, you can add his own uh, cubes. Uh, he's on a look development, sorry, I was reading in chat while Philip is looking for his cube, some fact uh, about your procedures. Okay, and, um, and uh, so uh, um, my geometry, uh, specific shaders, and uh, 
playing right there and I start to generate a lot of cube uh, on, onto it. Um, I can add any uh, geometry I want to play with. Uh, I can add some, let's say, uh, Ganesh uh, object I used before. So I'm going to pick my uh, previous so, uh, Ganesh, uh, which is a uh, courtesy of uh, Scanbox. Uh, Paul from Scanbox, same case, it's big, so that's why I'm gonna keep the same scale system and uh, I'm gonna mask my object, okay. And right now, I've got a lot of, uh, of a tiny uh, statue, uh, I'm gonna reduce the uh, density of them so it's gonna be uh, big enough uh, for the amount I wanna get. Um, I've got uh, just to uh, increase the uh, bonds extension to be sure that uh, everything is for is filling in my bonded box so I just I'm just writing these parameters and uh, as you can see I've got a lot of, uh, of uh, tiny uh, Ganesh elements uh, that's something uh, that we love to use uh, in production uh, Jean-Michel used that on uh, every uh, look dev asset on uh, Miniscule um, and uh, we use a lot a lot a lot of instances uh, with a tiny object and I'm pretty sure he will show you that in a, a more advanced and artistically uh, artistically tutorial. Um, I just want to show you that uh, every parameter I use uh, before as a density or a, a density noise is going to be work also so I'm going to keep that in way and you can see I can drive that also if I want to play with a lens I can also play with my lens noise and getting something like uh, differently okay perfect so I can play with uh, orientation uh, density uh, length um, blah 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 everything have fun play with it's really really fun uh, watch out for one thing you can create a lot of object really quickly uh, because it's procedurally is really easy and maybe too easy from a point of view in area when you are a, a junior or a starting area. So it's uh, a lot of uh, it's uh, it can generate a lot of information. So um, if you want to be secure, please start with the uh, really low uh, density level of uh, of, um, of scatters, and after that increase until you start to get something that you you wanna have a look. Uh, when you get more experience. Um, stay uh when you get more experience you can start with the right amount but as it's a couple of uh, parameters density scales and and the size of your object it's, it can be really tricky so please uh drive carefully your procedures uh be because it's gonna crash your system because you're gonna uh generate too more uh too more da uh, too much data for your uh, uh, memory okay uh Last stuff I want to show you, uh, it's uh, the uh, replicate guide. Uh, it's an, um, an uh, courtesy of uh, Mathilde uh, Canel. Uh, we will uh, provide you the uh, our, uh, art uh, station um, uh, URL uh, really quickly. Uh, she is a really great uh, uh, fur artist in uh, ILM and she was uh, happy to uh, share with us uh, our, um, our uh, last production. Um, I want to show you the replicate guide. Um, I'm gonna. S I want to do something simple, so I'm, I'm just gonna replicate some guides. Um, it's uh, perfect, and uh, it can work really well with the uh, use case uh, that uh, uh, Jean-Michel showed you with the tiger. And it's precisely the same methodology. Um, in this case, uh, the artist produce uh, cache uh, every fiber in an alambic, and that can be uh, super heavy and it's not uh, tweakable in area. So uh, most of the time, when we got this cache and we wanna tweak them in area, uh, we love to replicate them and create something uh, lighter or a little bit different and start to tweak them. So um, for the replicate system, uh, we need a scalp and guides. That's uh, uh, the simple stuff that we can get. So as a scalp, I'm going to use the uh, edge geometry, uh, which is this one. OK, perfect. And I'm going to replicate um, I'm gonna use the um, air system right there and I'm gonna switch my system to replicate guides. Um, I'm gonna hide all my curves 
to be sure that I'm not gonna be uh, polluated, uh, I'm not gonna be spoiled, uh, so I'm gonna add that, so right now I don't have any fur, and I'm just gonna pick one system of air, I'm not gonna do that for all of them, so I'm just gonna play with the uh, bang of uh, our uh, asset. So that's it, um, so this is a pack of guide, simply just a pack of plying i guess it was uh, it was uh, exported uh with uh by igen and so i'm gonna connect that with the air si on the air system i'm gonna connect the scap right there and I'm, and I'm gonna be right there and i'm gonna be sure that i've got the replicate guide uh um check uh i just want to show you that uh right now i don't have any air on her head and right now I replicate the guide, so um, the system is replicating everything, and I start and I can play with my system. Uh, my uh, guides are gonna be uh, my uh, guides width is gonna be based on my uh, guides I'm producing, so I can after that override my system. I can say that I'm, I just wanna get more tip because I was not really happy about the uh, tip fading of my uh, asset. I can add uh, some scraggle on it because I wanna get some. Pretty Attribution. and uh, I guess it's not gonna be really uh, really uh, beautiful but I, I can show you that I I can mess uh, with my uh, uh, I can tweak my uh, uh, guide after that so if I want to start to add more uh, uh, more perturbation because my um, my uh, my air was too simple or maybe but uh, in this case uh, <laughs> material noir stuff and it was really really a uh, great it's a really really great room uh, so I'm gonna destroy it a little bit but it's a great stuff and uh, so as you can see uh, I can uh, replicate so uh, which means I'm gonna produce um, a fiber uh, per guide I've entered in my uh, air input and I'm gonna be able to uh, drive uh, some parameters to tweak after the system. Uh, one of the stuff uh, is going to be less memory extensive so if you are working on a project uh, really complex uh, it's uh, really uh, which is memory intensive that's one way to uh, gain a little bit uh, memory uh, into your system. Uh, okay, um, I, I plan to show you some stuff uh, from project, uh, but uh, as you can see, it's a really tough subject, and I don't have any time uh, to show you more project. Uh, so yeah, please have, uh, have a look at the um, at the uh, at the uh, Jean Michel uh, tutorial, which is really great. Um, have a look at uh, my a small story. Uh, it's a wonderful uh, project. Uh, that the student of Visual Digital uh, release and they use a full uh, procedural system. Uh, so all the uh, air that you use, the, all the fur that you saw uh, on the on the mice was uh, created with a per, uh, procedural system. Um, I've got that in background, so I can start to render to uh, show you a little bit. Uh, so please shoot question. That's the right time. Uh, so I'm gonna uh, still talk. So when uh, Yep, uh, so if you don't saw uh, Wide Love, that's a project from uh, Avignon NC School, a uh, really great project. I don't know where the uh, full length version it is. Uh, have a look on the, uh, I guess we're gonna be able to produce uh, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, full length version. Uh, they uh, release uh, all the system of uh, grass and flowers with the uh, procedural system. So uh, yeah, yeah, sure. If, you, if there is no any uh, more question, uh, I can show you the uh, flattened grass uh, sampled. Okay. Can I simply duplicate instances of scalp? Uh, why do you mean by duplicate instances? Uh, well, for me, uh, instances are already a duplication of uh, geometry. So, uh, what do you mean by uh, um, um, one instances per one point? Okay, uh, that's something I didn't talk uh, in my case. Uh, when you wanna do one instances per point, 
uh, the best way to do that is to use a point cloud. Uh, so yeah, of course you can use a point cloud. Uh, that's something I show. Um, duck, duck, duck. I'm um, gonna um, go. Duck, 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 sorry, I'm so, gonna there's some go. noise. Duck, duck. Um, okay, that's something I show uh, in a couple of uh, bam point cloud right there. So you can produce that. There is also um, another sample scene. Uh, right there with the um, practical instances, uh, which is a uh, point cloud export from Udini, and I'm uh, reading the information from the point cloud to drive the color of the teapot. So I guess that's oh, for now, and no, no luck with exporting point cloud to Geria from Blender. Um, uh, I'm not really a Blender advanced user, so. Uh, please provide a sample and I'd be happy to uh, get the workflow for uh, producing a point cloud uh, efficient with uh, uh, Guerrilla. But uh, this, exam this example was produced with uh, Houdini. I guess uh, Jean-Michel also is working with Houdini. Uh, that's the case uh, with my um, with my uh, Moana Island version. I use Houdini to produce a point cloud. I guess it's, it's uh, some issues with uh, point cloud. Uh, visit the Discord, uh, push the samples, uh, have a chat with us and I'm sure it's super simple to do uh, and uh, if we got some tweaking to do on our side I guess it's gonna not gonna be so, uh, simple it's, it's, I guess it's gonna be simple and I'm gonna negotiate with Ben <laughs> but uh, this is my job not yours okay uh, shoot uh, yeah yeah Houdini is best way for uh, creating uh, particle instances but Blender is uh, also under construction so that's that's something that we can do uh yeah sure uh uh gary station uh user is gonna provide you the discord uh, link um uh, i don't have any id uh jean-michel uh, would it be way to use uh the replicate die to deform your full groom on the deform object i don't know maybe um I'd, i use one time uh a system with uh instances and uh, guides to uh bend my um my uh yeah it could be awesome we need to to uh, ask, request that um i use uh, a guides uh to drive the orientation of my instances uh, to simulate uh, movement, but it was really a simple system. So uh, it was with uh, wit uh, to get something really simple and just to change the inclination. So that's something that you can play with, but getting some really advanced simulation, uh, I never done that. It, 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 it will be awesome. Um, I still got the uh, flattened grass um, uh, sample to explain. Okay. And after that, I'm gonna launch. Uh, if you don't have any more question, uh, so uh, the flatten system, um, it's it's kind of uh, it's an advanced sample. Uh, I, I, I need to be honest. That's an advanced sample, uh, really advanced sample. So um, the main clue of that it's um, it bend uh, my fur depending of the distance between my scalp and my object. Uh, as you can see, if I'm uh, push back my cube okay uh if i'm pushing back really far um my cube i guess i've got some flatness okay perfect so i'm gonna get something right like that so if i'm um moving my uh cube uh from uh, if i'm if the cube is close to my surface it start to bend my uh my first system okay right there it's it's i need to to well long story short i'm gonna cut the shit um if you are looking to my uh channel uh i've got um something in french uh for i guess for the flatness which is uh express i guess it's gonna be in french so for you french uh speaker um I you just a shot from uh, mice i don't know if it's if it's in french or not okay um please if you're interested into uh this uh visit my uh personal uh channel 
uh, which, uh, which uh, with sorry, uh, this tutorial of look, I explain everything how to create a sample of, uh, and uh, I've look at the flatness. I know you speak French, uh, Christophe. Uh, if it's not in uh, English, uh, I definitely need to uh, provide an English version of that on the official uh, Gearia uh, uh, channel. So yes, yeah, the main objective of that was to uh, produce um, a simple uh, vidéo, simulation uh, to uh, bend my effet, uh, my uh, to bend the fur with the advance of the uh, of the mice in the grass. So I guess that's a really great example to show you the uh, way. I, I guess I've still got the uh, my scene in my back, so uh, in my backup. So I guess it's gonna be able to recreate that in with the English version. Okay. Perfect. So um, the Discord link, uh, if it's not around, okay, I'm gonna provide uh, provide it in the cat in the chat. And for you guys who are not, okay, the Discord is right there. Perfect. Jean was faster than me. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It was longer than uh, expected. Uh, that's a lot of stuff. Uh, Please, if I've got one advice to tell you, it's uh, keep it low in terms of uh, amount of um, of um, uh, instance because it can generate a lot of stuff. And I'm gonna have a wonderful lunch. Bye, guys. <laughs>